welcome back. He is risen. Who is risen? Jesus. Jesus is risen. And today is a special day. What day is it? That is right. It is Easter Sunday. What is the real meaning of Easter? Easter is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. But so much emphasis is put on eggs and candy and bunnies. There's nothing wrong with eggs and candy and bunnies. But those things are not what Easter is about. Easter is about the resurrection of Jesus Christ, which is why I like to call it Resurrection Sunday. You may have heard that, that name before for Easter. Do you call it Resurrection Sunday too? The resurrection is when Jesus was brought back to life from dying on the cross and being laid in the tomb. A resurrection is different from a resuscitation. A, res a resuscitation is being brought back to life from being dead to one day die again. But a resurrection means to be brought back to life from death never to die again. Jesus is the first and so far the only to have been resurrected. We who know him, we who have put our trust in him, will one day be resurrected, resurrected to live forever in heaven with Jesus. Get your Bibles, open them up to Matthew chapter 28, and we're going to look at the resurrected story of Jesus. Matthew 28, starting in verse 1. Now after the Sabbath, on the first day of the, 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 as the first day of the week began to dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to the tomb. So the first day of the week. What is the first day of the week? The first day of the week is Sunday. And the week began to dawn. That means it was the beginning of it. The sun was coming up. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to the tomb. Do you remember I told you? about how when Jesus was put in the tomb, there were some ladies who watched specifically where the body of Jesus was put. Well, these are those two ladies, the two Marys. And behold, there was a great earthquake. Have you ever been in an earthquake? Well, this one was a great earthquake. Quake. It doesn't mean great, like good, the, the better, good, better, best. It's not like great that way. It means it was really big. There was a great earthquake for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. Remember when Jesus was in there, the stone was rolled in front of the tomb door. But when the angel came, he came and rolled it back. And then the angel sat on it. The Bible tells us his countenance was like lightning and his clothing as white as snow. And the guard shook for fear and became like dead man. It had been three days since Jesus was crucified. He was put on the cross on Friday, Saturday, and now it is Sunday. On Friday, he was quickly buried and put in the tomb, but his body wasn't prepared properly because the Sabbath became be, began on Friday at sundown, and no work was to be done on the Sabbath. The Sabbath ended on Saturday at sundown, but since it would have been dark, the ladies waited until Sunday morning to come to prepare Jesus' body for burial. But what a surprise they got when they got there. The earthquake did not roll that stone away. The angel rolled the stone away. The angel rolled the stone away, not so Jesus could get out, but so that others could see that Jesus was not in that tomb. Matthew said that the angel sat on the tomb. The angel had been in the presence of God, which is why his countenance, meaning what he looked like on the outside and what he was like in personality, his countenance was like lightning and his clothing as white as snow. The angel left his home in heaven to come to earth to give the greatest message ever given. The word angel means messenger, specifically a messenger from God. And did that angel have a message to tell? Let's hear what the angel said. Verse 5 of chapter 28. But the angel said to, 
The angel answered and said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come, see the place where the Lord lay, and go quickly and tell his disciples, He is risen from the dead, and indeed he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. The first Easter message was preached by an angel in a graveyard. The angel gave us the message, said, do not be afraid, come see, and go quickly and tell. Do not be afraid. What are you afraid of? Whatever it is God says to you, do not be afraid. He can handle whatever concerns you. Do not be afraid. He can handle anything and nothing is too difficult for him. Then the angel said, come and see, he is not here, for he is risen as he said. The angel invites us to come and see the empty tomb. How do we know that Jesus rose from the dead? Well, he was not there in the tomb. The tomb was empty. He was not there in the morning on that first resurrection Sunday. When the Marys looked at the spot, Jesus was not there. No one stole the body. The women got the right tomb. If you buried somebody on Friday, wouldn't you remember where you put them by Sunday? Yes. The women knew where he had been put and could clearly see that Jesus was not there. He was definitely dead when he went into the tomb. Jesus died. There is not a resurrection unless there is a death. There were post-resurrection appearances. What that means is that Jesus was seen by his disciples and others for 40 days after he rose again. And he was seen by over 500 people. Since the time of Jesus, many lives have been changed because of the resurrection, including mine. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Jesus is the way to heaven. Heaven is a real place. Jesus prepares heaven for you and me to spend forever with him there. John 14 says, let not your hearts be troubled. It's kind of like saying, do not be afraid. You believe in God, believe also in me, meaning Jesus, Jesus is speaking this. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself that where I am, there you may be also. So the angel said to do not be afraid. And the angel said, come see. And the angel said, go and tell. The angel said, go quickly and tell that Jesus has risen from the dead. He died for us. He rose for us. That is the gospel message. The word gospel means good news. Spread the good news of the resurrection. Go and tell. Put your faith in Jesus. You cannot get to heaven because your parents are saved. You cannot get to heaven because you come to church on Easter Sunday or even watch it online. You cannot get to heaven by anything other than putting your trust in Jesus Christ to save you. Have you committed your life to him? Trust in him. Jesus is alive and he loves you. Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come and see the place where the Lord lay. God bless you. See you next time.